Girls of Reddit what is an unspoken rule of girl code? If a girl is being harassed or you overhead someone else planning to do something to her you don't leave her alone. I was on the bus once and this random girl came up to me and hugged me. As she did so. She whispered to me and said the group of guys in the back were talking about jumping me and my group of friends for our phones. I will forever thank that general owl. One girl was being catcalled on the train and the guy wouldn't leave her alone. So I sat next to her and began making small convo as if we were friends. The guy eventually left. Never leave each other alone. If their strap is twisted. Untwist it. Always carry extra feminine products. And extra hair ties. And if she's being harassed. You just link up and walk with her. No questions asked. Also. My daughters have a literal code. If they ever text me the secret code. I will drop everything I'm doing and call them immediately. Make up a major crisis and demand to come get them immediately. Make it 100% my fault. But give them an immediate out to any situation they don't feel able to simply walk away from. The 5 minute rule. If it can be fixed in 5 minutes or less tell her. If it can't, bloat situation etc. Comma then there's no need to say anything because it will literally only make her feel bad. As far as I've ever seen. Every girl knows the look. The look is a look a girl gets on her face when she is in a situation that she doesn't want to be in. It's part help me and part get me out of here. When you see this look. You step in. Doesn't matter if you know the girl or not. If someone asks for a sanitary product. You hand one over. Doesn't matter who they are or if you don't like her. If you've got it. You give it. This could be a trend across genders too but when a girl says they love something you are wearing you always tell her where you bought it and how much it was and especially if you got it for a discount. And if it's a dress with pockets. You make sure to say that it has pockets. Lipstick on their teeth. Eyeliner in the corner of their eye. Skirt tucked into pantyhose. You let them know without making a huge deal about it. If another girl comes over to you and pretends to know you. No questions asked we've been friends for 30 years and haven't seen each other in 5. And always give a tampon if you have one. And someone needs one. Edit. Never lend tampons. Always give. If you get breast cancer. Let as many people as possible feel your lump so they know what they are looking for. Before my mastectomy. My breast made a lot of new fiends so early detection can mean the difference between life and death. If she's dating a known abuser. Take turns getting her out of the house. Play cards. Shop for shoes. Ask her to help you lay out the garden. Make pie. Never broach the subjects yourself. Just make sure she knows she's welcome anytime. Day or night. With or without advance notice. If there's a red spot on her pants you tell her discreetly and immediately. Edit. A lot of guys are asking what to do if they see a woman with a blood stain. You have two options. You could tell her yourself which may or may not be appreciated depending on the woman. You could simply ask another woman to tell her. I love how many guys wanna help look out for the ladies who end up in this predicament. Colon. It might be a sniper's laser sight. Edit. Thanks for the awards guys. I feel validated. If friend drinks too much and starts to puke. If you walk into the bathroom and the girl in there is being quiet. You do your business and leave as quickly as you can. Girl is trying to poop. You help other women who seem to be in trouble. When I was a teenager my mom and I went to Walmart to get groceries. We split up to save time and a man started stalking me through the aisles. I finally got out to a main area and saw a lady with two kids. Walked right up to her and stood as close as possible. She was confused but when I made a motion at the guy. She understood. She loudly thanked me for getting the milk and called me honey. Also refer to her son as my brother. Once the guy left she stayed with me until I saw my mom. And then stayed where she was until I got to my mom and motioned that I was okay. That lady deserves an award for helping me that day. 
If your friend gets back with her Thai ex you always support your friend but you also tell her the truth and say if the relationship is toxic. This one especially applies to college girls. If you're at a party and you see a girl doing something she might regret the next day due to drinking way too much. You go over there and make sure she's okay. There's two types of rules in this thread. 1. Be kind to humans to each other. 2. Always give each other tampons and pads when needed. Console the crying one. You look sad. Have a PS4. I'll see myself out. No women left behind at the club. You look out for and take care of your girls and don't let random men drag them away without their explicit permission. Much like a code among smokers, you can ask anyone smoking to bum one. There are no barriers among complete strangers if she likes your dress glasses haircut etc. You receive the compliment with delight and immediately give details as to how to acquire the same. Then you move on again like the total strangers that you are. I had a woman just ask me once how I wash my hair. I have curly hair. So it's a big thing to know your routine. And I spent 10 minutes speaking to a complete stranger on the streets of DC like she was my BFF about co-washing. Hair twisting. Hair products. All that jazz. One's caveat to this is that. If there is a significant age difference between the compliment giver, being the older one, and the receiver. Then there is a chance it might not be received well. It's a fine line. Always carry an extra hair tie for whoever needs it. Edit. Drunk girl throwing up in the bar bathroom? Don't have an extra hair tie? Take the one out of your hair and give it to the poor girl in need. You always pretend that you know each other when a guy is being a jerk and you, or they, need a way out of a conversation. After a few drinks. Every girl in the bathroom is your best friend. My personal and spoken rule is keep an eye on other girls drinks when you are at the bar. Even if I don't know them. I have asked random strangers to keep an eye on mine and they are always like. Girl yes we have to look out for each other. If you're wearing a hair tie on your wrist and someone asks for a hair tie. Help the drunk girl crying in the bathroom. Person 1. I like your dress. Person 2. Thanks. It has pockets. Displays said pockets. If your dress has pockets. You let them know. If you see my tag hanging out of my clothes. Tuck it in. Pretend strangers are your friends if you see them being creeped on by a guy. Or followed or stared at etc. Everyone is friends in the bar bathroom after 11. No matter what. Human wall any girl if the only option is to pee in public. If you seen blood on my pants. Tell me. This is very helpful. As an autistic person who doesn't understand and spoken rules it's very helpful to have posts like this where they're all written. A friend of mine said that the most important rule is to always help a sister in need when a creep is following them or won't leave them. Edit. I guess it's my time to say it. Thank you amazing person that gave me silver. First time feels amazing. D and holy bonkers this post blew up way more than I could ever imagine. Colon. Capital D. Edit 2. So I just got two extra life awards. I don't know what it is but it looks really cool. D thanks cool stranger and happy Halloween. Tell her when you see him cheating. Snap a pic for proof if you can. I've lost friends for this but I'll still do it every time. If someone asks for a tampon or pad. Whether it's friend or enemy. Give them the tampon or pad. Do not post group pictures on social media with friends unless everyone involved knows and approves of said pic. If someone compliments your clothes accessories. There is an almost imperceptible line between intrusive prurience and interest in the SX lives of your friends that's defined by their inclination to share rather than you inquiring or making insinuations. Many friends will discuss SX candidly. Others will use discretion. And some will resent the intrusion. Always wait to be confided in rather than commit an indiscretion. 
There are weird assumptions about the sisterhood that we talk about penis sizes etc without reserve. This isn't true. Complimenting one another while drunk in a bathroom is the in best. Never leave your friends alone in a potentially dangerous situation. Bars. Walking home alone. ETC. Adding on to this. If a random woman approaches you and asks to walk with you. Stand by you. Or hang out with you. Let her. She's likely trying to avoid a creepy guy. Semicolon. Don't shame other women for how they express their femininity. Some women like pink. Some don't. Some women wear their emotions on their sleeves. Some cover their bodies while others show theirs. Women get enough criticism. We don't need it from each other. Watch their drink if they leave it unattended. When a friend is drunk and sad stay with them and make sure they're okay I don't think this is actually a rule of the girl code but it should be and it's a personal rule of mine. When bra straps are on the loose you help adjusting them. Only question asked is how far up, or down, they prefer. Edit. There was some confusement about consent and I think it great people think about that. But in this scenario girls usually come to you asking if you can help so consent is given. Keep up the thinking and helping. If a strange girl comes up to you in public and pretends you are best of friends and she hasn't seen you in forever. Play along. She is most likely trying to escape a creepy predator who won't stop following harassing her and she hopes being absolved into a group will save her. It will. So you play along and move to her place with even more people light attention as coincidentally as possible. Eventually when she feels safe, person has gone from her view, she will explain. Don't date our exes. I'm looking at you. Whitney. You horrid bitch. I was a janitor when I was younger. I'm pretty sure one of the codes is spray all over every square inch of the toilet. If you see another woman who has a wardrobe issue in some way, toilet paper on her shoe. Something in teeth. Twig in her hair, tell them discreetly. I would rather one person tell me so I can fix it rather than go all day for everyone to notice. I noticed a co-worker was dragging some serious TP on her shoe. So I stepped on the end of the TP as she walked away and it broke away from her shoe. I felt like the weirdest guardian angel. You will never know. But I saved you from mild toilet paper based embarrassment. As a response to all the tampons pads responses. One time at church. My period randomly started and I needed a pad. But my church was mostly full of girls that hadn't had their period at the time or menopausal women. So this one angel of a lady says she has none. But she had recently had a baby so she gave me a diaper to fold up and wear as some kind of pad. Women help girls the best they can in this situation. No matter what. You don't flirt or with a taken man even if the girlfriend is not around. Also you don't date your best friend's ex-boyfriend. I honestly have no idea why flirting with taken guys is considered badass and cool these days but it needs to stop. If another female asks if they look fat the answer is always no followed by a compliment. Uh, positive feedback loops result in unstable systems. If he asks what you feel like eating for dinner. Be indecisive except when he suggests something then be confident that isn't what you want. Edit. Thanks kind stranger for the reddit silver. Oh I might have to downvote this one. Because op ask for unknown code. Insult the bad ex when she's talking about him. I get it okay. Sometimes the girl might be in the wrong too. But when consoling your girlfriend. It helps to insult their ex-boyfriend and call them an idiot for not noticing or appreciating how amazing she is. Huh? My boyfriend just dumped me over a text. Sniffle. Me. WTF. What a dickhead. I will fight him. And then it gets weird when they get back together again. Sigh. If a person has a period stain. Tell them. Also lend people pads tampons. Damn. Women really do stick together. Why don't we? Guys. Also do that. Generally we don't have to. A good portion of the sticking together is because of dangerous asshole guys. 
Men also don't usually start bleeding out of our genitals. So no need to share pads or tampons and we don't usually have long enough hair to braid ponytail hold up with pins. This thread makes me realize that I've always been surrounded by mean, selfish, and vindictive women. I had no idea women actually looked out for one another. If you don't get drunk in bars, and you're responsible enough to carry your own feminine hygiene products, then there's nothing in this thread for you. Don't leave a drunk girl alone. Also added to sanitary products. Painkillers. If you got him handy. Help a bitch out. If someone gives you the I need out of this look. You are automatically her best friend. And immediately require her presence on the other side of the room. Don't ask if she's pregnant. Never date a friend's ex ever. You'll end up being a boomer. Uteruses before Duda uses. Don't prioritize some peen over your friends. If you ever encounter another girl puking anywhere. Always offer up a hair elastic. Do not. Stupid or not. The original girl code is that once you have any sort of sexual romantic link to a guy, even just saying you like him, he is 100% off limits to all friends. This rule is more nuanced when the object of desire is another woman. 90% of this thread. 1. Hair ties. Tampons and pads are community property. 2. Help crying girls. 3. Help girls being hit on by creep. 4. Hair and clothing advice is welcome and mandatory if asked. 5. If your dress has pockets. If a random girl says hey and hugs you. If someone is crying in the bathroom of a bar or club. Help them out. If it's late. Travel in numbers. Never let a girlfriend travel alone after dark in a big city. Not a girl. But I've always imagined there's a way to subtly suggest they have lipstick on their teeth to each other. Tap them on the upper arm twice and lean in. They will lean in as well. And then you can whisper it to them. Protect other girls in nightclubs from creeps and ask a wasted girl if she's fine with the guy around her if something looks off. You will casually hang around behind a fellow lady blocking the view of her adjusting her knickers if asked. You always help a sister with tampons or pads. Bar bathrooms are a safe place. Don't leave another woman in a dangerous situation. Especially if she's been drinking or is otherwise impaired. This goes for hours parties. Room parties. Bars. If a situation seems sketchy. Get her out of there and home safe. This should be for either gender. Really. When you're in the bathroom doing something like peeing or touching up and someone else is in a stall not making a sound. They're waiting for you to leave so they can poop. Wrap up what you're doing and give them privacy. If I'm at outside a club and I see a guy getting aggressive with a girl. I will be that best friend from out of town who just appears. Sigh oh my gosh. I can't believe we just bumped into each other here of all places how crazy. Let's catch up over here. Apostrophe. I did this pretty recently. The guy followed us. Got in my face and was promptly introduced to my military friends. I don't know your name. But I got your back. Make sure that the contributions of other girls in class work environments are respected and not allow anybody to interrupt them take credit for their ideas. If it can be fixed in 60 seconds or less, smeared lipstick. Wear out of place. Shirt coming untucked, let her know. If it will take longer. Eyeliner totally uneven needs to be redone. Keep your quiet until a non-humiliating time where there is adequate time to fix it. If it is something that is permanent or that can't be fixed until the end of the day, put on two different shoes this morning. Scar, just don't say a damn thing. Exception is period leak. Always. Let. Her. No. If your best friend is mad at someone. You're also mad at that person. Lol. Protect each other. Don't care if it's your sister or a complete stranger. Text your friends to check if they got home safe, 
Stay with them while their Uber or taxi ETC comes. Check over that message she is going to send to the guy she likes to see if it sounds okay. Some communications require a group effort. Sanitary items to all virginal having humans who need. My wife had gone out drinking with her gay best friend. And eventually the gay best friend ditched her. She was semi drunk but was being harassed by guys. She was lucky enough to keep it cool and didn't attempt to walk home. I was at her friend. I let him know that if you're out with my wife you stay with her. You act like her in gentleman and friend and make sure she gets home safe. You do not ditch her at a bar after a few hours of drinking. With that said. A rule that should stand firm is do not abandon anyone when alcohol is involved. I've been the sober one and dealt with my annoying. Embarrassing drunk friends before and I wanted to leave. But they're my friends and I won't allow anyone to be taken advantage of or end up hurt dead.